Pizza is something we really enjoy making at home, and it doesn't need to be difficult. You can make this pizza at home from scratch in just about an hour. We start out with 500 grams of plain white flour. You can use bread flour if you like, but plain flour will do. Add two packets of yeast. These are 11 gram packages. Then you'll add sugar and salt. If you like, you can add some spices. I've added oregano and garlic salt to this. Add your water and then add your dry ingredients. It's important to put the water in first before you add your dry ingredients. And the water should be about 42 degrees. Once the dough has formed, you wanna add your olive oil. We're looking for a dough that's elastic and that pulls away from the sides of the pan easily. Next, we'll saute two large red onions in olive oil. Sauteing the onions really brings out their flavors. Once these are ready, we'll put them to the side. And next, we'll add our bacon pieces. You wanna cook these until they're about halfway done. And then the chicken. There's no need to clean the pan in between changing ingredients. They all add to the flavor. Next, we'll chop up the rest of the toppings. I'm using sweet peppers here and fresh jalapenos. By the time you get to this stage, the dough has probably been rising for about 30 minutes. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 220 degrees. You can see our dough has risen quite a lot. Now it's time to shape the dough. You pour out the dough onto a nicely floured surface and split the dough into three even parts. Roll out your dough and then transfer it to a baking tray with parchment paper. Now it's time to start adding the toppings. Start out with sauce. I don't recommend using ketchup because the flavor overpowers the pizza. You can add the toppings in any order that you like. I usually end with the cheese and the fresh jalapenos on top. Bake in the oven at 220 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes or until the crust is a beautiful golden brown. And now it's time to eat. Careful, it's hot. Bon appetit.